When people think of insects and bugs, they usually think of the pests that eat their garden plants or the termites that ruin their furniture. While insects and bugs can certainly be pests, there is so much more to these critters than just that. In fact, insects are one of the most fascinating species on Earth. Many of them look the same at first glance, but they all differ in their own unique ways. If you are interested in learning more about insects and bugs, then you're in luck. Here are 30 interesting facts just for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. Number 1. All bugs are insects, but not all insects are bugs. While people often use these words interchangeably, bugs and insects are not exactly the same. Insects refer to the different groups under the class Insecta, while bugs belong to a subgroup of insects. True bugs belong to the family Hemiptera, and there are over 80,000 species of them. They don't have teeth, but they have a stylet, a straw-like mouth for piercing and sucking. Number 2. Despite their small size, bugs have very strong wings. These wings are made of cuticle, one of the world's strongest natural materials. Their bodies and wings might seem fragile, but they are strong and flexible enough to withstand strong winds. Unfortunately, however, wings do not grow back. Once a bug loses its wings, it has to adjust to its new life without wings. Number 3. Like plants, some insects also need sunlight. Dragonflies, for instance, are among the insects who get energy from the sun. The warmth of the sun energizes dragonflies, and this keeps them more active during the day. At night, you won't find many dragonflies flying around. They are likely resting until the next daylight. Number 4. Bugs and insects can feel pain. Studies have found that bugs and insects can experience physical pain like most animal species. Scientists have also discovered that it is possible for some insects to feel chronic pain after injuries. Number 5. Bugs can fart. Bugs can release gas like methane and hydrogen, and they can stink like most farts do. You don't have to worry about the smell, however, as bugs only release a tiny volume of gas. Number 6. To attract a mate, a stonefly performs push-ups. There are around 500 species of stoneflies living in North America. While they prefer to live in streams, some of them mate on land. Male stoneflies tip their bodies back and forth, similar to how humans perform push-ups, to attract a mate. Stoneflies also perform push-ups to force water over their gills. This helps them breathe better in areas with low oxygen as the water brings oxygen into their gills. Number 7. Unlike most bugs, aphids do not need a mate to reproduce. Most aphids in spring and summer are all females, but reproduction doesn't stop during these seasons at all. These female aphids can give birth to more females without having to mate with a male aphid. Furthermore, aphids are also viviparous, which means they don't have to lay eggs like most insects. They give birth to live young, which means aphids also reach reproductive maturity faster. Number 8. Damselflies are one of the oldest species that still exist to this day. Under the family of Zygoptera, the damselfly is the dragonfly's cousin. Damselflies have slim frames with a short body that measures around 1 to 2 inches. These predatory insects have been around for over 250 million years, and many of them continue to populate areas all over the world. In fact, damselflies live on every continent except Antarctica. Number 9. Beetles have the largest population among all the species in the world. There are around 400,000 beetle species in the world. This means beetles make up almost 40% of all insect species and 25% of all animal species. In the United States alone, there are around 30,000 known beetle species and many believe there are plenty more of them yet to be discovered. Number 10. Titan beetles are one of the largest beetle bugs ever. The Titanus giganteus, more commonly known as the Titan beetle, is the only species of the genus Titanus. As its name suggests, the Titan beetle is one of the largest beetle species ever, with a body of around 6.6 .6 inches long. 
The Titan Beetle also has short but powerful mandibles or pincers that are powerful enough to cut through pencils and even human flesh. Number 11. The Great Diving Beetle is an aquatic insect that hunts underwater. The Great Diving Beetle often feeds on tadpoles and even small fish. Despite living in ponds and slow-moving waters, Great Diving Beetles can't actually breathe underwater. They collect air bubbles in their wing cases, which serve as their air supply underwater. However, once their air supply runs out, they need to swim close to the water surface, hang upside down, and stick their abdomen out to collect air again. Number 12. Pillbugs on the other hand actually have gills. Unlike great diving beetles, pillbugs have gills instead of lungs. However, this doesn't mean they live underwater. In fact, pillbugs will drown if they stay underwater for too long. To keep their gills moist all the time, pillbugs live in humid areas. You'll find them underneath rocks and logs, staying moist from damp soil. Number 13. The largest winged roach in the world is the Megaloblata longipennis. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the M. longipennis is the largest winged roach in the world with a body that measures around 3 to 4 inches long and around half an inch wide. This species can be dangerous to humans as they can carry bacteria and contaminate your food and water. Aside from this, they can also trigger asthma and other allergies. Number 14. Goliath moths, on the other hand, are the largest moths in North America. Also known as the Cecropia moth, the Goliath moth is a giant silk moth native to North America. It has an average wingspan of 5 to 7 inches long, but some female Goliath moths can have even bigger wings. In some Native American tribes, the Goliath moth represents power and rebirth. They also symbolize transformation and change. Number 15. The rarest insect on Earth is the land lobster. The land lobster, or Dryocoselis australis, was believed to be extinct since the 1920s. However, in 2001, they were rediscovered on Lord Howe Island in Australia. To this day, it remains the rarest insect in the world, with a small population of 24. Number 16. The largest flying insect in the world is the Hercules beetle. Native to the rainforests of Central America, the Hercules beetle has an average body length of 7 to 8 inches. This makes them the longest beetle species aside from the largest flying bug in the world. This species is also known for its incredible strength. Named after the famous Greek hero, the Hercules beetle can carry up to 850 times its own weight. Number 17. The Asian giant hornet, on the other hand, is the largest hornet species. The Asian giant hornet lives in the tropical regions of East Asia. This species measures around 2.2 inches long, and it can fly at a speed of at least 25 miles per hour. Aside from its formidable size and speed, the Asian giant hornet also has a powerful sting that deposits a toxic venom into its victim. Number 18. Philidae bugs or leaf bugs look like walking leaves. Many animals use camouflage to escape predators and the leaf bug is one of them. As its name suggests, leaf bugs mimic leaves to confuse their predators. They will perch on branches and even rock back and forth similar to how real leaves blow in the wind. Number 19. The Jerusalem Cricket Cannot Fly Also known as the child of the earth bug, the Jerusalem Cricket are flightless insects. They do not have wings, but they do have highly adapted feet. This allows them to jump well as well as burrow underground, where they feed on decaying root crops. Number 20. Devil bugs can be aggressive when they feel threatened. Devil bugs or devil's coach horse beetle are very common species of road beetles, and they live across Europe, North Africa, and the United States. Devil bugs have powerful jaws that they aren't afraid to use. When threatened, devil bugs will retaliate with a bite. They also secrete a pungent liquid that repels predators like mice and ants. Number 21. Stink bugs also release a bad odor, but they are harmless. Unlike devil bugs, stink bugs are not aggressive. They don't sting or bite humans even when they feel threatened. Instead, they release a pungent odor that some describe as burnt tires. While they are harmless to humans, they are pests that feed on crops and will often hide in dark places inside homes when it is winter. 
Number 22. Some ants can explode as a defense mechanism. When their colony is under attack, some ants will kill themselves to save the others. These ants are called the expendables, and they are the minor worker ants in their colony. The ant skin is split in half as it explodes, and this releases a toxic fluid that kills the intruder. Number 23. The Japanese beetle bug on the other hand lifts its leg to scare off predators. Native to Japan, the Japanese beetle bug now lives across North America, Europe, and Asia. You will find this species living in crop fields and farms, where they feed on vegetation. The Japanese beetle bug has sharp feet, and it raises its hind legs to ward off any predators. Number 24. Some insects can enter your ears and stay inside for days. The smell of earwax can attract insects like cockroaches. The smell entices them to enter a person's ear canal and crawl inside. Sometimes the insect gets stuck and its movement will cause pain and irritation. When this happens, it's important to go to an ENT doctor right away. Number 25. Houseflies vomit on their food before eating it. Unlike most bugs, houseflies do not have teeth or pincers to help them chew or break down food. Instead, they vomit on the food to break it down. Once the food is liquid enough, they use their straw-shaped tongues to suck up the food and its nutrients. Number 26. Caterpillars have more muscles than humans. Humans have around 650 to 840 skeletal muscles, while caterpillars have over 4,000 muscles in total. A caterpillar's head alone has at least 248 muscles, and its body has over 4,000 muscles. Caterpillars use these muscles to push blood from their rear to their front, which allows caterpillars to move. Number 27. While some insects are pests, ladybugs can help your garden grow. Most people assume all types of bugs are pests that will eat and ruin their plants. However, not all insects are pests. Some, like ladybugs, can actually help keep actual pests out of gardens. Ladybugs won't feed on your plants. Instead, they feed on pests like aphids, fruit flies, and mites. Some gardeners even keep ladybugs in their gardens just to keep pests away. Number 28. Astronauts once brought ladybugs with them to space. In July 1999, NASA Columbia brought four ladybugs into space. They also brought aphids with them for the ladybugs to feed on. This was an experiment by NASA to discover how aphids can escape ladybugs without gravity. Number 29. In some cultures, ladybugs symbolize luck and positivity. Many believe that when a ladybug rests on you, it is a sign of blessing. Some superstitions say it is a sign of receiving fewer burdens, while some superstitions say it will cure you of any illnesses you might have when it lands on you. Another common belief is to count a ladybug's spots, as the number will predict how many happy months you will have from then on. Number 30. Several cultures also believe that crickets bring forth good luck. Asian countries like China believe crickets are symbols of good fortune and longevity. Their chirping in particular represented good luck, and some kept crickets in their homes just to hear them chirping. It's easy to believe that these critters are nothing more than pests. In reality, however, insects and bugs are among the most important species on Earth. So many insects help control the populations of other species, including their fellow bugs, and they serve as food for other organisms as well. Insects and bugs help maintain the balance of our ecosystem, and despite their tiny size, play some of the largest roles on the planet. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.